there's a part of me that almost wants to help the demons hurt her. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I don't know if that's her, you know, pushing the demons on me so I can, you know, help her kill them. Or if that's one of my demons trying to get me to jump into something that will ruin my progress. It's like, it's just like two, it's like the crack in the mirror that makes me think I'm two people in one. You know what I mean? But I know just to sit and listen. I know just to sit and listen, because if I don't listen, I could be really missing out on helping someone that needs my help. Yeah, but I pray for you, though. I hope that you find your voice, your truly, your true voice that isn't commercialized or is being used against you. I hope that you find peace in listening to me. Even if, you know, you can only listen a couple of seconds at a time or you can't really tolerate my voice for longest period, uh, long periods of time, I hope that there are no social forces forcing you away from me or making up your mind for you so you're not giving me a chance. I pray that you give me a chance. I know this is a, you know, social media is not a privilege. It's a hustle. It's a job. You have to work it for it to work. Um, you know, I pray you have a happy Merry Christmas. Just that you still have the thought of Christmas, even if you don't have the materials. Please just keep the thought in mind so you're not depressed and so lonely this holiday that you find yourself in tears. Just feel better and be better. Do better. You know, when people do you harm, you do them good. You have to keep your spirit in the good and the go. Because if it's up to them, they, they'll just destroy you for a laugh. And if it's up to you, if you're destroyed in that moment, you'll cry and let it affect you. You can use that power to just, like the lightning bolts of Zeus, you can just strike down your enemy where they stand with happiness and smiles and sharing like I, a part of me wanted to be your best friend or needs to be best friends with you for my health but I see that I just need to forgive you and I can still be myself I can still be you know good enough even with all my issues and, and stuff running around in my head I'm still a good person at heart and for some reason that's good enough I pray that God finds you in peace and he keeps you in peace and he takes your health and he wraps it around you like a warm blanket with some hot chocolate and some whipped cream. You feel good, oh yeah. And if you're in, you know, listening to me next to your you know, significant other, your boyfriend or fiance or husband or, or wife or whatever, just, you know, wrap your arms around them and hold them close. You seem to be losing each other in these hard times, but you just hold on to them. You know, because God has blessed you with someone who needs to be next to you at night. And sometimes I wish I knew the feeling, but as long as I have this podcast, you know, I have you to listen. And that's kind of my hug, you know, in one. But anyway, I, you know I love you to death. And I see you when I see you. Talk to you later. As I thought I could plan a podcast, that is not going to happen. I do not have the mindset to sit here. Chop up, block, block. How I'm going to tell you about weight loss and weight gain.